Okay, baby. Oh, 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 here we go. Hello there. We're back on your Lunch Truck Simulator 2 in virtual reality. It's been a while. Um, been busy this week. On Farm Simulator 19. Uh, I got a bit hooked on that. So I've not been able to record any truck videos. But I'm back. Uh, you may notice I've got Elvis on my sat nav. Always useful to have the king in the directions. Right. I'm just on my way to pick up a trailer. And then we'll get going. A bit is the shit. So here we are about to pick up our trailer of toys. Nine tons of toys. In Sofia, in Bulgaria. And we're going to Serres in Greece. It's 187 miles. Let's hook up. All's right, baby. Are you ready? Well, I am, baby. Well, let's go. It's time to rock and roll. Okay, Elvis, thank you very much. There's our trailer. Just hook up, and then I'll show you what I'm driving. It's the same truck I was in in the last video, which was a not a virtual reality video. All's it. It's time to rock and roll and hit the road. <laughs> Thank you very much. And, um, yeah. I'm in the, what I call the Mercedes Chunky Monkey. Uh, it's the Mercedes Actros 4163, does it say there? And it, it's the big one. So, yeah, there's the, uh, Another trailer I just went through. Ooh, right, anyway, let's get back inside and get going. Going to Greece. It's early in the morning, so I've just had a sleep. It's 6.33 a.m. We have no ferries or anything to catch, so it should be a nice daytime journey. Remind myself that this truck's slightly bigger, so you have to uh, give a little bit more of extra room at the back. So, as I said before, been no trucking videos for about a week because I uh, in 200 meters, I turned right. Ed. A day where I couldn't record nothing, so I thought I'll play some of the games that I've bought recently I'll turn on Steam right. in the sales. I've not really had time to play yet. In my head, I was thinking just a quick one, farming simulator. So I played it a few times and not really clicked with the controls. Right. You're looking good, and then I turn right. But with Elvis, is a bit loud. I turn right. It sounds it to me. And yeah, my quick go one farm sim simulator. 19. I know it's the older one. A little quick go turned into me being on it all week. I have three fields fully, but well, one's halfway through being harvested now. And the other two are all fully grown and ready to be harvested. It's all go. <laughs> I didn't record any farms in footage because uh, no one's going to want to watch me playing that game. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. It's, um, it's mainly me spending most of the time trying to figure out what does what and what do I need to do and doing things wrong and realising, oh, I don't do that, so I know not to do it next time. Maybe at some point there will be videos when I'm better at it, but right now, I think most people would just find it irritating watching it. Oh, what you doing? Don't do that. Don't use and that. In 200 meters, I'll turn left. So for now, I'll stick to videos of what I know. Which at the moment seems to be trucking. I'll turn left. And crashing cars on BMNG. I did play a lot of Destruction Derby when the, when the first PlayStation came out, so... Maybe I've got a taste for crashing them cars. Anyway, we're on Pro Mods 2.60. Some 
sometimes they can have slight performance issues because of pro mods, especially running it with other mods that I am doing. I've got a couple of Jazzy Cat traffic mods on and obviously I've got the Elvis mod. A couple of other little mods here and there. Up to now things seem to be running smoothly. I feel like I've got my headset on a little bit tight. Like it's, it's squeezing my eyeballs out of my skull slightly. But I'm sure I'll be okay. Lovely day today here in Bulgaria. change Elvis on the sat nav maybe get some different ones add some variety got a Grand Tour one used to have a Kevin Hart one Terminator <laughs> C3PO it's a shame actually I should have um, Put C3PO in my truck and then put C3PO on the sat nav, on the vice navigation. The simple things. In my truck today, I've brought some money. No. Uh, my hard hat and safety vest just in case I need to get out of my truck and do some stuff. First aid kit, always need a first aid kit. You never know when you're going to lose a finger. Map. No. I'm old school. When I was younger, every car or van or truck or anything would always have at least one or two maps in. Usually in the uh, little pouch in the back behind the seat. And my little cushion there for when I want to lie down. So, I'm all set. This truck has got some power. Even that on the trailer. Well, I know the trailer weren't that heavy. Full of tyres. See if I can see a pig flying over that. That little power thing there, but I can't see one. Pink Floyd reference there. Actually good being back in the truck. Actually, yeah. Who were these not holding me up though? I can't remember if this was an urgent delivery or not. I can't Keep overtake. Right. You're looking good. And then takes it. Right. Is that as Elvis just said? I made it in here. Takes it. Right. In 200 meters, a turn right. I thought that was a diversion there then. Oh, another mod that I've a turn right. installed. Was recommended in a comment recently. Oh, sorry, he'll start. I have to be careful then. Um, recommended in VR, especially use the invisible barriers. So you're here now to turn left. You would normally have the barriers there, so you can't go. But I've made them invisible. That added realism. So I can't remember exactly what was in the comments. I apologise for that. Uh, but uh, thank you for recommending that one. It's made a big difference. You have to be extra um, Other careful. Right I'll take the second exit. And you have to be extra vigilant, should I say, when you're um, checking your sat nav, though, because I'll turn now. 
if you're not and you don't see no barriers there you can just assume that you're going straight down the road sometimes you'll see the barriers ahead and think oh where am I going which will make you look at your map and see oh I turned left here so, so yeah great mod They also mentioned one for the uh, for parking. It takes away the white flashing lines when you're parking a trailer, which puts cones there. I've not put that one on yet. I'm a bit chicken. <laughs> oh, that's not speed. Be there. 57, 58 mile an hour. Let's uh, get, around this, get around this corner here and we'll try and get some exterior shots. Wish me luck. Oop, there's a train. Oop, there's my truck. What's the barrier? No barrier there. Oh yeah, there. This is really freaky doing this on VR. And on this corner I'm going to go back in the truck. Ooh, it seemed a bit steep, but okay. Oh, I finally got round to uploading my uh, tutorial video. How to play ETS2 ATS in VR, how to record it using Oculus Mirror. It seems to have gone down quite well. I've watched it back once, I can't watch them back much when they have me voicing because it's... Uh, but I watched it back once because I just had to make sure it was okay. And quite impressed actually, it is okay. A couple of bits here and there that I've, I forgot to do. When I'm showing um, in my documents on the config file, I forgot to highlight what I was doing so you can't really see. I meant to put a big yellow circle around what I was clicking on and things and I forgot to do that. Rushing too much. When I first switch. OBS over to record Oculus Mirror. Should have kept it on normal mode just to show because then the camera goes off because it's viewing from the headset which was on my head so it's looking up you can't really see what I'm doing. Other than that though, not bad for me first attempt. On the roundabout, I'll take the second exit. Hopefully some people have found it useful. Turn now. Big clunky gear change then. Just the metal on the air shifter. Upper clanks into gear sometimes. I recently had my eye on a uh, new rim for my wheel a GT3 slash Formula 1 type wheel but not the circular one, it's just the one with the two grips but I will be purchasing that in the next few weeks hopefully that'll be um, fun not obviously for truck simulator but for racing games yeah, I'm looking forward to that I've had this wheel for a while now and you can change the rims I never have bought any more. So I thought, you know, why, why have this wheel where you can change the rim and not buy any more? Maybe one day I might buy one of them. Um, oh, there's been an accident up ahead. Let's pull over here. Got to be listening to my lane, you idiot. Let's get over there quickly. And these games, 
in a lot of games. Never trust the AI. They have accidents within themselves, so you just stop staying clear. His music's okay. I don't know what it is because I've not actually put it with it yet. I had it later when in, in post processing. But uh, it's all written and produced by me over there on my uh, keyboards. Recently, I've replaced all my software with all new up to date, newer versions. <clears throat> Excuse me. Before that, I'd been using I was using the sequencer that was over 20 years old. Cause yeah, I had everything on it that I needed. I was used to it. Never saw no reason to change. Change PC. Had to update software, and now I have to go to the newer version. And oh my God, it's a steep learning curve. So I'm. Um, not going to be making any, any new songs for a while while I'm getting used to the new sequencer. So after using the same one for so long, oh, it's, uh, it's a big change. If I'd changed gradually each time a new one came out, then I would have learned it all step by step over 20 years, but because I waited 20 years and then changed, Every single thing on it is different. I keep right. You're looking good. And then I turn right. You all know the saying you can't teach an old dog new tricks. I'm 44 years old. Right. It's very hard for me at my age to learn new things. Especially when it comes to computer things. But I'll get there. Here we I are. keep right. You're looking good. And then I turn right. Hey, okay, thanks, Elvis. I turn right. Oh, here. I thought it was a bit better. <laughs> oh, in Greece now. Does it look too different from Bulgaria where we started? I continue straight. Oh. Don't know what happened then. Just check. Last time the VR went off only like that. Just because something happened on the uh, desktop. Sorry if I just bang the camera with my hand. Sometimes every now and then it will turn left. You get a tracking problem like that. Only every now and then. On your, reach, the, your destination. Usually down to the Oculus and the software rather than the game that you're playing. Sometimes it's to do with lighting on the... Cause the Oculus has built-in cameras, so you don't need um, separate sensors. The like sensor is built into the headset. You've got two cameras there, some at the side. And um, sometimes lighting can affect it, reflections can affect it. Usually it's just a simple, just wait a second, then press your reset button and reset as you and everything's fine. Like I just did. Oh, 
Oculus Rift S has been discontinued. I don't know why I'm going this way. Uh, by Oculus. So, it's looking likely that at some point there'll be no more updates for the Oculus headset. Sometimes. Sometimes Windows updates and the headset's not working properly. Ooh, <laughs> nearly hit the wall. And then you find that there's been an Oculus update, so you do that and then everything works fine. But my big worry is if, if at some point there's going to be no more Rift S updates. Windows could update, the headset could not run properly. And then there'll be no what, Oculus update that will fix that. And I might be wrong in thinking that, but that's just the impression I'm getting. It's slightly worrying. If there's no third party updates that come out for it, which I'm hoping there will be. I'm hoping somebody somewhere on the internet makes a <coughs> that makes updates for it or you know, something to keep it running. If not, I'm gonna be looking at purchasing a new headset. Let's disconnect the trailer anyway. I think if I do have to buy it, get myself a new headset, I'm going to um, save and you know, make it like I'm not just buying a replacement because I have to. I might as well get, you know, step up, look at one of the uh, headsets that are like selling for over a thousand pound. Is the Valve Index? That looks quite good. A few of ones that I might have to look at. But like I say, that's all at a later date. Anyway, we've done. We've delivered our toys. So, Fiat to Ceres. Distance 188 miles. We got 11,573 spondulis in our back burner. Um, translation, we got 11,573 pounds. So, we've put that in our back pocket. Uh, 453 XP. We had level 306, Divine Champion. This account has had a few mods that's helped with that. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope my voice hasn't been off-putting or me blabbing on about Farm Simulator and me recording studio. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. I was appreciated. If you want to see more trucking videos in VR, some on the flat screen, some with me talking, some with my tunes, uh, hit that subscribe. And I'm going to go and make some coffee. See you again next time.